cloudy day here in St. Paul and we just got our hands on a C70 within the last week or so. Great timing because the C70 just got a firmware update to support a couple new raw output. Right now we're recording on that C70. We're shooting at about a 3.5 ISO 800 is the base for raw on the C70. You can actually go lower on the C200, which is already a difference in the two. Uh, I'm just going to sit still now so you can get a clean feed of skin tones in that raw format. This is raw ST. We've just switched over to the C200. There's probably a difference, I don't know. They're both at 5600 Kelvin without any uh, tint added. Um, so we'll see how that reads out. They have both been auto black balanced as well, which is something you should always be doing. I will sit still so you can get a readout here and then we'll compare them on the screen. This is Dane from the future. This will be a hard cut from Dane from the past. Uh, still cloudy in St. Paul. It actually snowed today. It's the end of March, pretty normal stuff. Not thrilled about it, but this is what you get when you live here. I'm gonna give a quick recap about what we found with the raw footage. Main things we noticed, for the most part, the detail is about the same. Maybe even better on the C70 because there's less noise just in the shadows. One of the stranger things about it seemed to be the color reproduction of the two sensors. I'll just show it again. The C70 has a much warmer image. Again, we shot both of these at 5600. It was a cloudy day, so the light wasn't changing. Uh, so aside from differences in those two Sigma lenses, that C70 sensor was, was much warmer. Uh, I think every one of us in office here that looked at the footage preferred the C70 uh, mid-tone roll-off just from like this area feels better in terms of skin tone um, but th that was a, a difference we noticed it seemed like the mid-tones were being treated a little bit differently by that um, C70 sensor than in that C200 sensor. In Final Cut which is the editor we use most often the C70 raw was playing back as a raw file quite well and we've had bad luck with the C200 doing that same thing. Depending on the project, you could maybe leave it in RAW. I brought both files into DaVinci as well, which is usually where we color grade. Um, before, uh, with the side-by-side -side tests, all we did was apply the Canon LUT to get it into a Rec. 709 space. Uh, in DaVinci, I pushed it with like a more film look, and uh, there was no detectable difference in how those images graded up. C70 raw footage is about a third of the size of the C200 cinema raw light footage and they look about the same and we'd maybe even choose the C70 image over it which is kind of crazy and you can shoot the C70 raw to SD cards uh, with the C200 you're gonna need CFast which are way more expensive. So at this point it seems like the C70 raw is better than the C200 RAW. Um, our last surprise is that this clip, me talking about these things, is in the RAW LT. We were so impressed, we thought we should shoot something in the LT uh, to see how that compares. And obviously it's not a scientific comparison, but uh, if you didn't notice, then maybe you want to save some more card space. If you have specific things you want us to compare between the two cams and you don't own them, uh, let us do some of that work. We would be happy to, to test that out. Uh, again, um, at some point we do want to do a more in-depth look at these two cameras. Um, that would be something if you wanted to comment. Let us know what you're curious about between these two cams. And uh, TTFN.